I'm just going to show you how you can use the width stamp tool with the polar grid. Now the width stamp tool comes with width scribe, which is from Astute Graphics. And now just got an image here. You can use it with other things other than images. You can use it with text, etc. And pass. Polar grid. That's over here. So polar grid creates lots and lots of lines. And I'm just going to click on the surface here and bring up the options. OK, so what I've got here, i am set the number of concentric dividers to zero because what I want is radial lines coming out from the central point. And I'm actually going to go for more radial dividers than that. So I'm going to go for, say, 100. Of course, I've changed all the that. I'm just going to go for 100 there and just drag that out so you can actually see the design. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to set object ungroup because what I want to do is remove the round ring here. So I'm just going to remove that. Just going to select those again. I'm going to give a, a size and color. So uh, just going to go for black and I'm going to probably go for about four points. That sort of thing. So you've got these designs just coming out here. Now I've got the image here. Now this is a group and that's the key thing. It's all one group so you can just drag that over. You can position it anywhere you want. So you, if you want sort of radial lines to come from that set, that point there. But I'm just going to go for the reasonably central position. So I'm just going to go over the entire image. Select both. Select the path, top, top object and the image underneath. Make with top object. So just going to click that. That's the width stamp. And there you have it. You've got these lines that come out. And you, of course, can modify this as well via the curves down here. So you can just tweak more or less the lines appearing. So many variant uh, designs can be created just by modifying this curve. You can't see much of the image there, but you can virtually make an inverted image there. Right. So anyway, the reason I mentioned this one, this radial burst, it's one of the one of the options in the width stamp is presets and there's sort of circles and there's square spiral and that sort of stuff. One of the things that's not there is a sort of uh, radial burst. Obviously that would be a nice feature to uh, have in the uh, plugin maybe in a future version, but uh, who knows what they're gonna add there. So anyway, this is a quick way of creating the radial burst by just using the polar grid tool. Very quick and easy. Like I say, if you don't want that one, you can actually just go to here, release, and you can move it. So you can just move it across. I'm just gonna move that, maybe make it up there. And of course you can apply various transformations. So you don't have to go with that, you can actually transform it. You can even maybe create a sort of twirl effect. So I'm just gonna do could just use one of these options here distort transform twist so 45 twist design now just drag that over there select both again make with top object and then you've got a sort of swirly curved effect instead of just obviously straight line radial design and again you can still modify the actual you can create some really quite psychedelic sort of surreal effects just using these and again it's still live so you can release it so you can say release and you can modify that twirl it's just an effect that can be altered via the window appearance so I just go over here and twist so just bring up that maybe make it 90 don't have to go with the uh, 45, maybe apply other effects as well. So just drag that again, select both, make with top object, and you can create some very surreal and unusual path effects just by combining with appearances and effects and the polar, polar grid tool. Hope you found this of interest.